guys, I'm here this morning in Frederick, Maryland for the Little D on the Monocacy race. You see the beautiful Monocacy River behind me. I drove up from Charlottesville this morning, got here a little bit early. I was actually the first one here. And uh, I'll tell you what, shortly after I rolled in, some other volunteers showed up. And uh, if you don't know, this race benefits uh, children and their families who are juveniles or infants who have basically terminal diagnoses. Um, and are only going to live a few years. This whole race started when uh, little Danny Sullivan had a rare disease and he only had years to live. Uh, he passed away in December 2018. So now this benefits an organization that helps uh, the, the other children like that and their families, gives them support and uh, stability while they're dealing with uh, one of the most horrible things imaginable. And uh, what I really like about this particular race in this community is the number of volunteers they have. Uh, they, they just get tons of people here. There's a barbecue guy here. Uh, people are setting up tarps and the whole community has come together and it's just a wonderful, wonderful event. I'm happy to support it. So uh, I'm get waiting for paddling buddy Dave to roll in. Then we're going to shuttle up to the starting line and I'll be back here in a few hours and I'll check in then. All right, take care. All right, paddling buddy Dave just rolled in. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Dave. We're all here early. Crowd is filling in here. Lots of canoes, some surf skis, kayaks, the popo over here. That's awesome. Um, we're getting ready to shuttle. Talk to you soon. All right, guys. I thought I'd do something a little bit different with this video and narrate it. This was the Little D on the Monocacy race in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, here you see me happily getting into my kayak before the start. Uh, you'll see me put a foot up on the deck there to drain my shoe of water so I don't end up with a lot of water in the boat. That little tube I was just hooking up, that's the drinking tube for my camelback that uh, I have a piece of hard plastic straw taped to it. And uh, coming out of my life jacket pocket, you see a thick gauge of wire and I just slide that tube uh, on that wire so that spout for that thing is very close to my mouth. Now here's the very start of the race. I jump out to the lead. Uh, that canoe on the right there, that big yellow Kevlar canoe is in the lead. And just watch this canoe on the left. It, it actually hits that canoe and there's really no reason for this contact. Um, and I actually called it out when it happened. So here you go. Straight and paint. <laughs> So this is a, another perspective. I had a camera on the front of my boat uh, aimed toward me. I'm happily paddling, keeping up with the leaders, uh, you know, passing some other racers. I'm feeling good at this point. It was a fast start. And I'm wondering if maybe it was uh, maybe a too fast of a start. And I want you to see this canoe on my right, your left, come in. And uh, we're paddling kind of close. Now look at that canoe on the right, my left, your right. Uh, and then there's a C4, there's a canoe with four ladies behind me. Uh, the C1, uh, I'm sorry, the C2 on my right, your left, we're kind of close. You see me looking over to make sure I'm giving them enough space. Um, and I veer a little bit to the left just to open up some more room for them. And then the canoe on your right, my left, just comes in and squeezes me. And you'll actually see they get so close I can't even get my paddle blade in the water right here. And uh, I, the canoe actually hit me and then the C4 from behind hit me. Here I'm trying to get straightened out and go down river again, but the stern of my boat's on the other side of that C4. And I just get spun out, completely spun out and uh, pushed off to the side of the river. And here you see all the leaders in the race now pass me at this point. Here's another angle uh, from a different camera that I have on the front of the boat. Here you see that canoe come in the, from the left and just smashes right into me. Um, and there was just no call for it. I was sandwiched, I had somebody on my right. I had nowhere to go, I had nothing to do. Here you see, I'm trying to right the boat, but that C4 is pushing me, and I, I essentially have no control at this point. I get pushed off to the side of the river. Uh, here's one more view of it from my body. All right, guys, come on now. Son of a bitch, really? What the f Come on! Somebody give me a break!
Fucking canoes. In here, there's a little bit of an outburst there. I apologize not only to you, What's the that? viewers, but the people paddling no. with me uh, on the river that so day. I apologize the for the, that just lack of composure. Like uh, my frustration just bubbled out a little bit. And you'll see now paddling Dave uh, comes up and he passes me at this point and he thinks I'm going to go, there's an island up ahead. He thinks I'm going to go left. He goes, are you going to go left? And I was like, no, go to the right of the island, follow the canoes. So here you can tell, you know, I've fallen pretty far behind the leaders of the race and so now my game is to uh, try to catch up to the race leaders. Uh, we go downstream for a mile uh, and then do a buoy turn. We did that, now we're coming back up river and uh, I got behind this gal, I think she said her name was Stephanie, uh, awesome paddler, really good form. Um, and she was looking really good and then these people in a C2 and we're going up river upstream and a really smart guy figured out um, if you draft or when you draft if you're right behind somebody riding their wake you're saving about 15 percent of your energy and if you get off to the side of the uh, the wake like i am uh, well right here i'm behind but you'll see me get off to the side you're still saving about 10 percent energy so i was not uh, really giving it my all now to try catch up with the leaders. I was just trying to catch free ride up the river a little bit and conserve some energy for later in the race. Um, in retrospect, hey, you know, you can't retrospect things, but second guessing, I don't know, maybe I should have just uh, given it some more juice here, but I figured I'd save my effort. It's a long race. At this point, we're paddling up above the starting line to another buoy turn that's a half a mile above the the starting line. Then we turn around and head back down river for uh, seven and a half miles. We go uh, about a mile past the finish line. Here is the, the that stretch, that big down river stretch. I'm catching up to some six mile paddlers here and passing them. They started a half an hour behind us and they just went from the start to the finish line. So it's kind of fun to catch up to them and pass some of them along the way and enjoy just some of the sights and sounds here. Here you have me just paddling. I'm kind of right behind paddling buddy Dave. I, I'm closing the gap on him at this point. He's not too far ahead of me. And now we get to the last buoy turn. He's right there. I mean, we're talking to each other. I'm asking him if there's anybody behind me. So he's still very, I thought I could reel him in at this point. Uh, but he still had a lot of gas left in his tank. And I figured, boy, if I'm going to catch him, I got to maybe take a risk or two and uh, maybe try to do something that he misses and I can capitalize on it. But I made some bad choices going back up river that, that one mile. Um, and here you see me crossing the finish line. Great volunteers, great fans. What a wonderful event. It's fun. Uh, you see me catching my breath there, turning off the GPS and uh, getting a little drink of water. There's Dave. Great paddling, Dave. He took first in his division, second place overall as a solo kayaker. And here's just one of the back of the Packers. I, as you've heard me talk about in previous previous videos, you know, some of the greatest uh, athletes you see are the back of the Packers who might be doing something for the very first time. Um, there's just a lot of, I just love to see these people get across the finish line and, uh, you know, what that sense of achievement looks like. There we go. All right. Paddling buddy spanked my hiney today. Great paddling, Dave. You can't see me smiling under here. I, I felt good about staying on your tail until the very end there. Yeah, you did. I, I was worried about you the whole time. Let's go check out some barbecue. These are the barbecue guys. What's the name of your business? Smokey Barbecue. Where is it? Uh, we're in Charlestown, West Virginia. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So there you have it, Little D on the Monocacy Race 2021. I am a huge fan of this race. I love the charitable cause to help children and families with terminal illnesses, terminal diagnoses, sometimes even before they're born. Um, I love that aspect of it. Steve Corbett, who organizes that race, does an absolutely outstanding job. Um, and to see an entire community come together to support such a cause, it's, it's really heartwarming. So if you can get there next year, absolutely do it. Um, and as far as this video goes, I, you know, I'm not uh, doing this to call anybody out or shame anybody, but um, 
I just thought I'd do something a little different with my videos and instead of just doing long form, long boring kayaking down a river, um, just kind of narrate it a little bit. And you know, now that I've got a thousand subscribers on this channel, I, I feel a certain obligation to step up my game a little bit and uh, kind of take some of these videos to uh, maybe not the uh, terribly higher level, but at least maybe a little bit higher level um, to make them a little bit more entertaining for you. Um, you know, that's about it. I, I enjoy this race, you know, a little bit of bumps and bruises at the beginning. I'll definitely be going back next year and for years to come. Uh, and, you know, admittedly, next year I might be wearing a, a helmet and full pads, um, but uh, I'll definitely be back. It's, it's a fun, friendly event. This year they did it a little bit differently uh, due to the COVID concerns. The 12 milers started out first. Uh, at 10 o'clock, and then the uh, six miler started at 10:30, just to spread everybody out into two separate groups. Thoroughly enjoyable. I'll definitely be back paddling, buddy Dave. Congratulations on the awesome win. Uh, that guy in the epic surf ski took first overall. Dave took second. I took third overall. I was second in my division behind the surf ski dude. Uh, so some awesome paddlers. Uh, awesome paddling on the river yesterday, and. Uh, yeah, check out this race, put it on your list, and I'll see you there next year.